Hi everyone, trust you are doing fine. Today I would like to speak about mass flow measurement and working principle. Then I will demonstrate some of Siemens Coriolis mass flow meters. After that, I will go through menu structure of mass 6000 and do basic programming and quick configuration even if we lost the sensor probe. So let's go. Coriolis mass flow meters can provide flow, mass or volume, density and temperature measurement of liquids and gases all within a single meter. Since the measurement principle is independent of fluid properties, these meters typically have a very high accuracy. Coriolis mass flow meters work using the inertia caused by fluid or gas flowing through oscillating tube. That inertia causes the tube to twist in proportion with the mass flow rate. This twisting is measured with the sensors to generate a linear flow signal. Now let's have more technical details about the working principle of mass flow by Siemens itself and demonstrate Citrans FC 430. With the Coriolis effect, a physical force is explained. It acts on a medium that is accelerated in a rotating system, like a ball on a rotating disc. Its movement is straight. However, if the observer turns with the disc, the ball is apparently deflected. The same effect occurs with a water hose that rotates around its own axis, like a skipping rope. As soon as water flows through, the hose also twists. The effect also appears with an oscillating movement. The twisting is stronger or weaker, depending on the amount of water flowing through the hose. This effect allows the mass of liquids or gases to be determined. The Siemens Citrans FC430 flow meter functions according to the same principle. Two symmetric metal tubes are set vibrating. This is ensured by a driver coil in the central section. The tubes oscillate with a resonance frequency, similarly to a tuning fork. The oscillation is measured precisely by two pickups at the inlet and outlet sections. If liquids or gases now flow through the tubes, a phase shift occurs, as with a water hose. The pickups measure the spatial and temporal displacement. This determines the amount of liquid or gas flowing through the tubes. The greater the amount, the stronger the tubes oscillate outwards. Siemens presents yet another Coriolis device for measuring mass flow. Thanks to the precision of every detail and its compact form, the Zetons FC430 represents a small revolution a multi-parameter flow meter with maximum reliability. In addition to the mass, it determines the density of a medium. Denser media have lower frequencies. Put otherwise, water oscillates at a lower frequency than air. From the measurements, multiple parameters, such as volume or concentration of substances in a liquid, can be derived. Data and results are stored internally and on the innovative sensor flash. They are available at all times as backups, just like the audit trail function and all certificates. Unique design. Peak performance. The Siemens Zetons FC430. Designed for excellence. Here we have Citrans FC2100 Coriolis mass flow meter and the old version mass 6000 transmitter. Now let's go through the menu structure and do the basic programming and the quick configuration. Now it's configuration time. The configuration separated for two parts in this demonstration. In the first part we will do a basic programming of the transmitter. In the second part we will do the configuration even if we lost or damaged the prom of the flow sensor. First of all, I will show you how to access and program the basic functions 
of the Siemens transmitter. To access the programming menu, hold on the top up key for 2 seconds. You will be promoted to enter the password. The factory default password is 1000. Press the lock unlock key. Press the change key. Press the lock unlock key to enter the value. You are now in the programming mode. Press the lock unlock key to access the basic settings parameters. The flow direction parameter is set to positive. This indicates that the flow is going in the same direction as the same directional arrow on the flow sensor. To move to the next parameter without making any changes, press the forward key. The next parameter is mass flow max. This parameter sets the units of the flow and the value of the span. Press the lock unlock key, pressing the change key and the select key will change the span value and the units of a flow. Press the lock unlock key to save the changes. Press the top up key, then the forward key. The next parameter is volume flow max. When the desired units are set, press the lock unlock key to save the changes. To move to the next parameter, press the forward key. Next parameter is to set the density. Press the top up key. Press the forward key. Next parameter is for sensor temperature. Press the top up key. Press the forward key. Next parameter will be totalizer. There are two independent totalizers. Press the lock unlock key to access totalizer 1. Press the lock unlock key a second time to edit the settings. To select the function of totalizer 1, press on the lock unlock key, then press on change key. Now you can select the requested function mass flow or volume flow. Then press the lock unlock key to save the function. To access totalizer 2, press the top up key, then the forward key, then the lock unlock key. You may select the requested function as we have just done in totalizer 1. Press the top up key three times to move to the upper level of the menu structure. The final step of basic programming is to turn on the current output. Press the forward key to move to the output menu. Press the lock unlock key three times to edit the current output parameter. Press the change key to turn the current output on. Press the lock unlock key to save the settings. We are now finished programming the basic functions of the flow meter. To exit the programming menu, hold the top up key for 2 seconds. This will take you directly back to the operator screen. Now I will show you how to program the transmitter, especially if your sensor chrome has been lost or damaged. Recall that every MAS 6000 base flow system has a factory supplied sensor prom that is shipped with a flow tube. The sensor prom contains the calibration and size data for that particular flow tube. If the sensor prom is missing or damaged, the transmitter will indicate this by flashing the general alarm icon and also by displaying the P40 sensor prom error on the display. In this case, we will program the transmitter manually by following this sequence. On the rating plate, note the meter den size in millimeter and the tube calibration factor as we need these to program the transmitter.
Next, we should enter the password to access the programming mode and navigate to the sensor characteristics menu. In the sensor characteristics menu, enter the flow meter size, now show in meters instead of centimeters, and calibration factor that were recorded from the nameplate on the flow tube. Also note to use the correct excitation frequency which can be found in the technical documents that come with the meter. Once the transmitter has been programmed with the meter size and calibration data, the flow meter system will now be as accurate as if it had a functioning sensor probe. You will however have to reprogram your QMAX and output settings as these are not retained in the transmitter memory. If you need any additional information, please feel free to contact me and I will be very happy to serve you. Thank you so much and have a nice day.